Hello, this is Dr. Lorenzo, Longevity Health Institute. Hope this finds you well during this holiday preseason. Um, kind of exciting, right? You get to get together with family and friends and um, have good food, good love, uh, good conversation. Uh, be grateful and thankful for many things. And uh, if you know people that don't have family um, or limited family, invite them over and, and give them some joy and love them uh, during this holiday. So here's some practicalities in medicine during the holidays. Now, I may be slightly judged on some of these things I'm gonna say, but as my patients know out there, I'm a realist, I'm about balance. I talk to you real um, and we talk science and evidence, but you know, I, I know the reality of how we live and um, the struggles that we all have. Um, now it is important to do all uh, your ultimate best in your health in diet and exercise. I live that way, am I perfect? No. But do I, am I gluten-free? Pretty much. Do I exercise daily? Pretty much. Um, do I follow a lot of things I preach? Yes, pretty much. So, um, but am I perfect? No. So the point here is, is that there's some very common things, especially during the holiday, uh, Thanksgiving through Christmas through New Year's that are very common that I want to talk to you about that are practicalities that can help you um, keep your weight in check, um, keep you well, um, and not feel miserable, get sick, um, and not suffer consequences that you'll come and see me and, and my practitioners and we'll have to talk about and do a lot of work on um, in, in uh, the, the coming weeks in January. Uh, so, one is alcohol. Um, of course, the best is don't drink alcohol. Alcohol is stressful to your liver. Alcohol is a sugar, essentially, no matter what type of alcohol. Um, it slows down metabolism, slows down detoxification, um, it has negative hormonal effects, um, and so alcohol in and of itself is going to be a negative. Um, but if you're having a drink, okay, um, the best alcohols that you can have are going to be um, low caloric, um, gluten-free, um, and often um, a reasonable consumption which is usually one or two drinks. Um, the worst alcohol is for you. Um, and many of my, my staff here, they're, they're, they're kind of laughing at me. <laughs> they're making fun of me while we're talking. Um, a, a lot of the alcohols are high in sugar and wines are very high in sugar. So it's not just that you're getting the sugar alcohols, but you're actually getting the carbs and the calories. So that's the worst thing for you, and usually we do this at night. Um, and so you're feeding gut yeast, you're slowing down your metabolism, you're allowing a lot of hormonal activation and estrogen effects that are negative, um, besides histamine effects that, that wines and that can give you. Um, so there's a lot of negativity to alcohols, and it's not just the alcohol in and of itself. But let's say you're gonna have a drink or two, you're at a party, you're at um, a, a Christmas party, um, a, a um, Christmas Eve party, a New Year's party, etc., or just seeing friends and family, and you're gonna have a drink. Your best alcohols are gonna be your gluten-free vodkas um, or tequilas. And the reason is they're low calorie, um, and you can put lemon and limes or in vodka, you know, berries and fruit, and you can give them a little bit of flavor, but they're gonna be low caloric. Of course, again, you're gonna have a serving or two, that's it, okay? But that's reasonable, that's balanced, you're not gonna suffer the consequences for days to come, okay? Yeah, some might be get judged on this, but that's practicality. The other thing is, is there's a lot of hype and there's studies, there's Harvard studies and other studies out there about fasting. And fasting is wonderful. It's very good for you to maintain metabolism, keep your energy up, helps longevity, etc. But a couple little tricks you can do. Fasting is really the science is based on stopping eating at four o'clock and not later. Um, you have the best then hormonal effects to keep your growth hormone up, your insulin down, you, you better cortisol production, better evening, nighttime detoxification, and fat loss. These are all essential to keeping your belly fat down and keeping you well and keeping you healthy. So during this holiday season, when you know you might eat bad or you're gonna eat bad the next day, try intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is lovely to keep your metabolic rate up and you're not gonna suffer the consequences of some minor cheating um, off your gluten-free, dairy-free, alcohol-free, low-calorie, no fun <laughs> diet. Um, but keep that in mind. Intermittent fasting is, has the science behind it. I can tell you clinically evidence here. My patients love it. It does work. Um, it, it, there's science even on longevity when people fast. 
Um, but try that occasionally on these next few weeks, and I think you'll like the outcome. The other thing besides limiting alcohol, drinking reasonably, and what to drink, and this intermittent fasting, is that I want you to think about the type of macronutrients you consume and um, ingest, um, and meaning proteins and carbs and all that, okay? And we're not gonna get into details about what's the best diet. You know I feel a lot of uh, vegan, paleo slash uh, blue zone type of diet is the best. A lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables, a lot of nuts and seeds, um, very limited protein um, from animal products, um, no gluten, no dairy, you know I feel that way. Um, you know, but uh, there isn't a one size fit diet all for everyone. I firmly believe that. Um, evolutionary, epigenetically, we know this, that different people respond differently to different types of diets. But here is something that is very interesting. If you, if you believe in any form, in even just the last few hundred years of evolution, okay, the way we've eaten, um, and definitely the last thousand, the way we've eaten is an evolutionary process, the way we live is an evolutionary process, and we evolve through that. We are ancestors of people, of how we consume, their genetics, how they detoxify their hormone levels, and this goes back to studies of height and weight and, and um, ethnic-related uh, um, congenital things and morbidities. So the point here, though, is this. You can't negate some evolutionary things and how we live even paleolithically, okay? And the norm nowadays is to consume a lot of protein. Now, protein is needed to maintain muscle. It kind of depends on your needs, your goals, and how, mu how much metabolic demand you have, meaning if you're really active and exercising and physical and et cetera, you might need some more protein as well as more calories and more carbs. But high, high, high protein, especially in the evening, slows down digestion, slows down your liver detoxification, uh, you'll wake up with a high belly fullness, often indigestion, heartburn, and that. So keep this in mind during the holidays and that, is that have more protein earlier in the morning, in the lunch, and if you go to a party or you get together, try to really not have protein in the evening. Try to enjoy uh, healthy and good carbs, um, and, 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 eat, and even at that time, if it's a cheat meal, things that you might not normally have, but the meats and the higher proteins that you might consume at night are what's gonna really, really slow you down. And you may often find that's gonna to lead to weight gain, digestive issues, and just an overall blah, like even kind of lethargy in your general um, mood and spirit. So, um, hope that enlightens you and gives you some <laughs> knowledge, um, practical knowledge, that's what this was about, holiday practical knowledge. Yes, I'll be busy January 1, with all of my patients and new patients coming in with digestive issues because they've eaten and drank and overeaten and gained weight and all that. And we will get you back on track because we're about that. We're about not judging, but being helpful and keeping you accountable and giving the evidence of what works, okay? But um, you can control some of this. Remember that, you can control some of this. So um, don't get uh, too off the rails this next week or two. Um, this is Dr. Lorenz, Longevity Health Institute. You know how to find us. Um, uh, two locations, soon to be three, one in Bloomfield, 248-289-6643. Uh, you can look us up, Longevity Health, Health Institute, excuse me, Inc.com. Find us on Facebook. My video is here on YouTube, the YouTube channel, Longevity Health Institute, Inc. Um, anyway, be well. Hope this finds you well. Enjoy the holidays.